Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I thought it'd be fun to talk about a topic about what it's like dating a recruiter. I know we never, I, I haven't seen the videos about what it's like to date a recruiter and you know, the ups and downs and the challenges, but I guess, you know, we should talk about it. <laughs> we should talk about the pros and we should talk about the cons. My name is Angelon Wallace. If you don't know by now, I make videos about recruitment, traveling, sometimes IT and recruitment. And today, you know, um, like I said, we're gonna talk about what it's like to date a recruiter. Okay, so there are different types of recruiters. You have recruiters that work for agencies and you have recruiters that work for in-house, okay? A recruiter that works for an agency, they're more driven, like money driven. And when a recruitment person that works for like a, a, a in-house, that could be like for a company actually. So for like a Google or whatever type of company it is, but they're not working. They're more so working for a company to help assist with hiring. As an agency owner, it's more so out going to find jobs and find candidates. And they're, you know, they get paid, you know, a lot of bigger bucks, you know, so it is a difference. I have had the pleasure of dating both. I've dated someone who's worked in-house and I've dated someone who's worked as a recruitment agency. So dating an in-house recruiter, you know, is not so bad because they have reasonable hours. You know, they actually get off at a certain time. They have a lot more flexibility to work from home. It's, some, it's still a high pressure and a high stress for a job. I will say that dating a recruiter, you know, when they, you know, it could be a stressful job for a lot of recruiters for a lot of reasons, because we're working with people, you know, we're working with in-house management, we're working with managers who are, who need hire for their team, but sometimes they don't know what they want and the projects can change. So it can be very stressful. You know, but I guess going back to the in-house recruiter side of things, like a lot of stress does come with the jobs, but a lot of benefits comes with their jobs as well, depending on what type of company they have, they, they, I guess they work for, but they have a lot more flexibility. You know, one thing I would say about the beautiful thing about recruiters is that dating recruiter is that you would never have to worry about, you know, uh, needing interview advice. Every time you have a, a job interview or you need your resume updated, you have that in your back, you know, in your back pocket. You have someone there to support you. Uh, recruiters are very analytical. We always think about a lot of things. I, I always like to say that we're more chess players than the checkered players. We're always thinking 10 steps ahead. But of course, you know, our job is centered around, you know, working around people. Now, even though a lot of recruiters, you know, work with assistants people and helping people get jobs, it doesn't mean that they all have a high levels of emotional intelligence. You know, often you do see recruiters that work in-house have much of a more higher level of emotional intelligence as you do see with, uh, and then recruiters who work for agencies, they might have a much of a higher level of drive and hustle uh, because it's such uh, money driven. So, you know, on the agency side, it's more Wolf of Wall Street and in-house side, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's more calm and relaxed, so it's very different. Now, dating an agency recruiter can be challenging because, you know, any good agency recruiter, they're usually going to be at the office to six, seven, sometimes even eight or nine o'clock at night, depending on how good they really are. And, you know, when you work as an agency recruiter, our, our job is what you put in is what you get out. Ultimately, essentially, we're, we're entrepreneurs. You know, however much money we want to make is decided by how much work we put in. So when you're dating an agency recruiter, it's going to be stressful. It can be stressful. It can be some long hours, including weekends, but it can be very fun as well. Agency recruiters like to live in the moment. They're very spontaneous. They like to spend money. They like to go out. They like to do things, but it's very spontaneous. You may be with an agent if you're dating an agency recruiter they may randomly invite you out for lunch real quick or you know as soon as they get off of work at seven or eight they may go straight to meet you at a restaurant and it's going to be uh it's going to be a stressful day you know it's uh it's kind of one of those questions when you know I always say, you know, people want to ask you how your day was, but as a recruiter, that can be challenging because <laughs> it's going to be either really good or it's going to be really either bad, you know, really bad. You know what I mean? So it's one of those, you're going to get, 
you got to get it. And it just comes with the job. It can be it can be stressful sometimes, you know, dating a recruiter because their stress levels are so high. So I would just, you know, you know, manage your expectations knowing that the great thing about dating an agency recruiter as well is that they always are coming across jobs. So if you do date someone that works in your space, you know, there's always opportunity to, you know, get you a new job. Um, but but also at the end of the day, I feel that a lot of agency recruiters tend to be more active. You know, they're doing a lot of things. They are, they probably are going to the gym a little bit more. Um, and and they're wearing a lot more nicer, fancy clothes. You know, a lot of agency recruiters are usually dressed up in suits, so they're suited and booted. They're always dressed for their occasion. They are sales people at the end of the day. You know, agency recruiters can be very persuasive, you know, so they have a lot of skills that sometimes can help you in a lot of situations that you may be struggling with, you know, for your business, but also they're very creative. They have a lot of ideals, they're, they're ongoing. In-house, like I said, it's more chill, it's more relaxed, you know, so it's not much pressure, but it's see, but it's still cool and fun. I think if I had to choose between dating an HC recruiter or an in-house recruiter, I think I would go the in-house route because I think I would struggle with seeing my partner if they were, you know, you know, if she was a in an agency recruiter, I think it would just be, uh, you know, a conflict because she probably wouldn't be as available as I will as I will want her. And it's not nothing wrong with that. I'm just letting you guys know this is what comes with the job. You know, at the end of the day, now if someone is a sourcer at a recruitment company on both sides, well, I think it's more easy, it's more relaxed, but it is a lot of pressure that comes with. It, it, it can be challenging dating recruiters some time because, you know, like I said, it comes with a high levels of stress. And if you want more, if you want to spend more time with your partner, if you want the freedom to, you know, to be with someone who's able to take a day off or take weekends off or work remotely, you may need to go the in-house route unless you meet a recruiter at an agency who's already working remotely. Okay. Just to manage those expectations at the end of the day, it will be high levels of stress dating a recruiter and nine to the 10, if you do date an agency recruiter, they might most likely will not stay in that job um, more than two to five years. They most likely will transfer to a new company or potentially work for themselves. Or almost 70, 80% of the time, transition to a completely new field and a new career. So just to mention, <laughs> you know, I think a lot of people sometimes with dating, I think a lot of people like consistency and it's hard for that in our world as recruiters, it's hard to find consistency, especially when, um, you know, recruitment has a almost a 70, 80%, you know, turnover rate where a lot of people quit within a, they usually quit within their first, you know, 60 to 90 days of joining a recruitment agency. So, you know, I, I guess I just want to be honestly transparent for people who may uh, get into dating an agency recruiter. It just comes with the job. It doesn't mean that they're a quitter. It's just that it's not for everybody. It is serious, high levels of stress. It's a lot of KPIs, a lot of goals, and it's all centered around making money. Where in-house is more centered around completing projects, managing expectations for hiring managers, and building out teams. But it does have, it definitely comes with stress, but not to the capacity of working for an agency. Because even as an agency recruiter, you know, most in-house recruiters don't have the pressure of one of, of or the pressure or fear of losing their jobs. Whereas an agency recruiter, if you're not hitting your numbers or if you're not hitting your, your quotas every quarter or every month, you could potentially get fired. Um, now as a 10, you will get fired if you are not hitting those numbers, even though essentially you are an entrepreneur uh, and you may not even have that much help at your agency. So <laughs> I hope I explained that well. I don't know if I did, but I hope I, I hope you guys get the point. I'm not saying it's good or bad today either. You do uh, find that agency recruiters, they make more money. You know, most in-house recruiters, depending on their field, on average, an in-house recruiter is making anywhere between 80 and 120. If they're in the tech space, it could potentially be anywhere from the 150 to 200 range. With an agency recruiter, you know, depending on how good they are, they could be making anywhere from the, you know, 150 to 300 and 300 to 500. 
you know, depending on how good they are. So with most in-house recruiters, they may be get, getting, I want anywhere from, you know, 10 to 15 K a month where an agency recruiter could be making 40 to 50 K a month. And, you know, or or they could be paid out quarterly as well. You know, with agency recruiters, like I said, there is more money potential because the commission is there and it's higher. More most times agency recruiters make low salaries, but that's why they have a commission component where in-house recruiters have more of a bonus and a, and a base salary. So they consistently get in a high base, but they don't have the opportunity to make that, you know, extra 20, 30 K range. If you are dating a new recruiter as well, I should probably mention this. If you're dating someone who just got into recruitment, it's going to be Rocky, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> it's going to be, uh, if you, if you date someone who just got into agency recruitment, it's going to be Rocky. All right. Because that first six months to a year, you know, you're learning, but you're also trying to, you know, you're trying to, let people know you're here, you know, and you're here to stay. You're trying to make your first deal. Sometimes it takes recruiters, you know, three to six months to make their first deal. Sometimes it takes them one year to two. I've seen some people that I've seen it, it takes some people much longer. It just depends on the recruiter. But it is, like I said, if you're dating someone who just got into recruitment, it's going to be rocky because it's going to be a lot of stress levels. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be a lot of hours in the office. But long term, if that person is really good at their job, I mean, life can be pretty good for you um, in the future if you're thinking about that as well. Um, on the um, on the in-house side, I think the benefits are always much better. On the agency side, you know, you just get a lot more benefits when you are working in-house uh, with your partner. So if you're thinking about having a family with someone, um, you know, you're probably gonna, you know, I, if I had to choose between having a family with somebody, I probably would choose someone who's working as an in-house recruiter versus agency side, because I don't feel like personally, uh, you know, I would get that much support from my partner, not to say that they wouldn't have a choice, uh, and, I don't think they would have a choice being that just how agencies operates at the end of the day. Um, you probably it just would probably be a struggle. Um, but we are seeing a lot of recruitment agencies, you know, uh, transition to more, um, you know, seven to two schedules. We, we see here, I believe California is trying to implement a four day work week strategy as well. So I would say it's just manage your expectations and try to understand, you know, when you're dating a recruiter, understand what their schedule is like, what their day to day like to help you manage your expectations to see if it's going to work for you. But I guess I just want to put that out there because, you know, I think a lot of people, when we meet people, when we meet people, when we go on dating, we just assume that, oh, it's probably just working a nine to five. And it's not like that for most recruiters. Even sometimes in-house recruiters do have to work um, late, late hours. They do have to work late hours, but they have a lot more flexibility to work from home. You know, where agency recruiters, it's usually like, you got to be in the office, you know what I mean? So you got to be in the office and it's a very different type of culture. It's a very different type of mindset. Agency recruiters are, you know, um, very direct. They're very, you know, they're very, you know, blunt, very salesy as well, you know, and their mind just operates like this. They're always thinking about, you know, thinking about the next deal, the next sale. So you will, you know, I just feel like, on the agency side, the person that you may be dating may be very ambitious, very money driven. On the in-house side, it's not to say that they're not money driven. It's not to say they're not ambitious, but the hunger is just different. You know, in-house side, I'm getting paid regardless. When I show up every day, this is what I'm going to make per month. And on the agency side, I can determine how much I'm going to make this month. I can determine on making, you know, I can determine what I put in. I can bring in 40, 50 K. I can do it. And I know all I got to do is put the time and the hours to make it happen and go from there. OK, so just understand that this is just two different dynamics. It's two different mindsets as well uh, at the end of the day. But sometimes you do see agency recruiters transition to the in-house side. But I guess, like I said, to manage your expectations, it's just good to get to know that person. It's good to understand their schedules, what they do, what they recruit for and what it's like if they like it. Nine times out of the 10, if I can be honest, most recruiters do not love what they do. Some are passionate about it. Some study often the ones that do study HR recruitment, we do see them go into a more of a in-house position, but the ones that are in agency, usually are just hardcore sellers and they love the money. It's not that they love what they do. They just love the money potential because it is so much. 
Um, and you know, it's, it's pretty easy to do at the end of the day. So if you are, you know, so if that's something that doesn't align with your values, you know, dating someone who's not passionate about what they do, it is something to consider it's something to think about. But like I said, communication is key, managing your expectations, talking to that person and just understand that it will be rocky days. There will be rocky weeks. It will be some tough times sometimes because also in our space, the thing about agency recruiters is that, you know, when you're working as an agency recruiter, even though you get the big bucks and you get higher commission, you know, there always is a possibility that you have to give that money back. <laughs> <laughs> and don't let that happen. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be rocky. It's gonna be a little bit even more rockier as well. I will say though, like I said, it's a, it's not a bad life. Um, you see more in-house recruiters are more chill. They're more stressed out. They're more relaxed. Um, and you see more HC recruiters dressed up. They're always ready to go out. They're always ready to wine and dine. They're always ready to have a good time. I hope that I explained it well enough for people to understand. Like, you know, it's it's this pros to dating both. There's cons to dating both. Um, I feel that you know, on the in-house side, you see a much higher level of emotional intelligence when you work with in-house recruiters. Um, and it's not to say that you don't see on the agency side. It's just not. It's just a. I think the percentage is uh, much lower uh, because, you know, the mindset and the focus, the priorities is just much different um, when you're working as an agency recruiter. Um, so that is something to factor in. Um, I think I want to talk about this topic more, man. It's interesting. I think I want to, you know, really go into more details about, you know, dating a recruiter. Because uh, now I'm like, oh, man, it's so much more to talk about. But I don't want to make this video like a whole hour long. So I may make a part two video to what it's like dating a recruiter and maybe get someone else's perspective as well. It'd be very interesting. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. Can't wait to make more content for you.